Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is Floris' new peach blossom powder. They are loosing powders and I got two from Floris's. Thank you Floris's so much. One is their translucent loosing powder and the other one has a hinted lavender based color. So today we're going to talk about two of them. They are in the same collection as the new pressed powder. From the powder quality itself, they are actually identical. So if you want to see more detailed information, I highly recommend you to check out this video before this one because uh, a lot of information I'm not going to repeat it in this video. I absolutely love this time the packaging. Jade white color with frosted coverage. It is so pretty. The size itself, it is actually identical as their classic version. Shape, size, they are actually identical. The difference is this time again, is the powder and the grinding technique has been improved massively. The difference between the new version versus the classic one, it is very similar as the pressed powder versus the classic pressed powder. The classic one is more designed for all skin type and the new one, it is actually more designed for normal to oily skin. And for sensitive skin as well because of the ingredients they have inside. Myself tested out this loosing powder as well as the, let me actually grab my, the pressed powder. I have to say the finish, the poor blurring effect, the uh, long lasting, which you guys will see today as well. Very, very similar, pretty much identical. And the powder quality, the grinding quality itself, three of them are the same. The only difference is the actual size. As you can see, the loosing powder would be more friendly to use at home and the press powder as it's way much more sleek and easier to travel and for touching up. So for example, if you are traveling a lot and you are more towards oily skin that you need more often touch up, go for the slim one. This time the loosing powder has two colors. One is translucent, as you can see from the bottom of the packaging. And the other one is more towards like light purple lavender base is hinted. When you put two of them together, you can see this one is slightly toward lavender purple and this one is more white. When I actually do swatches next to each other, the translucent loosing powder versus the lavender based colored powder versus the pressed powder, on the swatches perspective, as you guys can tell, they are pretty much identical. They are very smooth, melt on your skin so well, and you don't actually see too much color difference. Uh, I have to say the color is very minor on your skin. The light purple lavender based powder would more visible or more, how to say, effective if you are slightly darker skin than mine. I am light yellow skin tone. On my, I can actually use this powder for full face. If you are a little bit darker skin tone than my, I wouldn't recommend to use this for full face, but for highlighting the central of your face. If you are light or pale skin tone, I probably would recommend you to go for just the translucent powder because this one could potentially make you look even more pale. So it depends on your skin tone. The light purple lavender one, it is more useful light yellow skin tone to medium yellow skin tone. Okay, then that's the inside. This time the way of opening this is the exact same. You twist and open. Inside again, you see the lovely blue puff. And you open here. I really, oh, can you see the smoke coming out already? It is very, very lightweight, this powder. This time they grind it so well. And then that's the inside. The one I'm open, you can see a hinted purple color. Let me open the other one to actually compare. Okay, let me put those two together. Now you can see the color difference, right? 
This is more purple base and this is more translucent like white see-through powder. Uh, today I'm going to use both powder on my face and I'm going to do a minimum 8 hours testing just to see the long lasting part. Uh, off camera I compared the loosening powder with the um, pressed powder. They are similar. Mm, how it performed, how it lasts on my face, so it is very very similar. Besides it's good for sensitive skin. As I mentioned in my previous video of this one, I am actually using this new powder as part of my morning routine. So when I finish sunblock, I pile up a thin layer of the powder to let my face get used to minimum amount of face oil. Again, this time the main function of the new loosening powder is oil control, shine control, blurring the pores, lightweight, breathable throughout the whole day. Let's see how it lasted today. Now I've done foundation, concealer, and a little bit of highlight, like cream highlight for the under eye area. Today I'm trying out a new foundation. So overall it's not like totally smooth. So if I zoom your guys in that, yeah. Especially have a look at the pores area. It's like made my skin looks drier than before. Okay, then let's see if Floris's powder can actually save. Uh, what I will do is I will use the lavender purple based powder for the highlighting purpose and for the translucent one setting the rest of face. Then I'm using the purple one first, which are going to set for the under eye area. As for the face structure, as the central of the face, normally for highlighting. Oh, can you see the smoke already? I'm sure you guys probably can see. So, although it has a hint of the lavender color, but it doesn't make your face look like purpley. If you know what I mean. Let's see the under eye. Very smooth. Wow. Can you guys see? For today's purpose, I am going to apply a little bit more. From my own experience, I feel the lavender-based loosening powder. If you just apply a thin layer, you can't actually see too much brightness, which give you the benefit of being able to use on a daily basis as well. It won't make you look pale, but if you want to achieve a highlighting purpose, I would suggest to apply a slightly more and don't worry about whether it's cakes up or not it doesn't it doesn't matter how many layers you put on it doesn't cakes up and for here the skin around my mouth here is always being like darkened in if you compare this side can you see it's a little bit like shading color is actually the, the, the natural color itself but see once you apply it a little bit this powder it naturally brightens up it doesn't make this area looks white but it is it, attracted the lighting very well which give you a very nice reflecting as not glowy but like lighten up reflecting Can you guys see the difference? See this side, the pores. Oh, jeez. But you see this side. Being blurred out the right away. And I will then change to the translucent powder for setting the rest of the face. I will do hard face, then we can do the comparison. The translucent loosening powder. This one. 
The finish is identical as their pressed powder. So if you want to see more details about that, then go back to this video. Okay, let me zoom you out a little bit. Okay, now we can see the difference. This side set with powder, this half is translucent to loosing powder. The central of the face are the more lavender based colored loosing powder. And this side I haven't set at all, as you can see the reflection. And this side is more like a clean, soft matte finish. Then to compare the lavender side and this half, I'm going to use the translucent loosing powder, so no colored loosing powder. You straight away see the soft matte applied on the skin. I'm only going to do the under eye area as it's easier to compare. When you look from the camera, I don't think you guys can tell the difference at all. Uh, even when I look from the mirror, it is very, very minor difference that the lavender-based color here is slightly, only tiny slightly looks brighter than this side. Now you look from the normal distance, Uh, I don't know, now I can see from the monitor, this side, especially here, it looks slightly whiter than here. Obviously, I did apply more layers to actually to show the difference. But if you just do one layer, you wouldn't see, you know, this much brightness on here. But we'll give you like more hinted, that's more... Detail things make a difference. <laughs> I always say that. Now, to be honest, I feel my face way much better because before the foundation is still a little bit sticky. So your face, you feel somewhere glued, but now it's like back to normal. <laughs> and what we do is, let me grab a tissue. So this is clean tissue. And that's... Press. There is no foundation coming off. And let me spray a little bit of water. So this is just normal water. See? Okay. And before. Before that, uh, let me prepare another clean tissue. Oh, it's like somebody spit at you. The head is off. off. Okay. Okay, nothing coming off. And zoom you in to see my face. Remain very well. Oh, and straight away, once you remove the water and it's back to like the original ones, you just set the powder back to that. It's like nothing happened. No stickiness whatsoever. Very good, very good. Okay, uh, let me see today's time. It is 11.53. So I will check in about four hours time again and hopefully do another minimum eight hours testing today. See you soon. I thought I filmed this half 
But I just noticed that I didn't press the start button. Yeah, I'm sorry, guys. It is now twenty four past four in the afternoon, so it's nearly four and a half hours. Unfortunately, I only can show you half side because <laughs> I touched up on this side. But <laughs> stupid me. Okay, four and a half hours. This side, I mainly use the 05, which is more lavender-based leucine powder. And this side was the translucent powder in here, and the rest was number 05. But from four and a half hours perspective, the oil part is owning around, surrounding my nose, T-zone a little bit. Um, from today's perspective, the weather, it is actually cooler than the last time I was actually filming the press the powder test. So the oil control I feel today is slightly less compared to the press the powder that day. It could because of the weather temperature. That day was really, really hot. I was sweating whole day. Uh, but today was maintained very well. And before, unfortunately, I didn't film that part. But when I actually compare this to this side, where I pile up with the 05, the lavender, that uh, pow loosing powder, in comparison here, after it's melting in with a little bit of face oil, it is actually looks brighter than this side. Unfortunately, now you can't actually tell it because I touched the base on this one. And here... I touch it up with 05, the lavender light purple based leucine powder. And now you can see all being blurred out. There is no cakiness and the pore minimizing as well. Look at this side after being touching up and then compared to this side. There is a huge difference, right? And this side seems just like looks way much more fresh compared to this side. Okay, that this side, that's touch up with the translucent powder. Okay, let me find a best angle. Okay, now you guys can see the this area. Gone. And to see one thing, okay, a small detail is that my contour here and my blush here, this powder has not removed any of that. It's still, you can see both sides, the blush and the contour. You know, some powders, even translucent powder, once you pile up on your blush or on your contour, you start kind of getting the color fading out a little bit, but the florist is one, this one doesn't. And same as the pressed powder. You see my nose contour, you still can clearly see. Back to fresh. And again, looking on here, there is nothing sinking to the lines. Neither sink into the pores. So when you touch your face, feel oh so, so silky smooth. Okay, I'm going to pick up my little one, and we will do a last review in the evening. See you soon. It is now eight thirty in the evening, so it's almost nine hours. So it's about eight and a half hours. I had a look from the mirror. It actually kept very well since we last touched up. Look. Both sides. It's only a little bit face oil from here and a little bit around the nose area, but that's the area where I normally get quite a lot of face oils. Since the last touch up, it kept quite well, especially if you're looking at, you know, the pores side. You know, after a few hours, you had your makeup, and if you're oily skin, combined oily like myself, when your face oil you really want to get out, your pores will look like 
they scream and shout, just really want to pop up. But today it is actually really good oil control. I felt that today's oil control is actually overall better than the pressed powder that day. But I said before that today is much cooler compared to the last time when I filmed the pressed powder that test. But overall today is really good for eight and a half hours. It's quite good. Let's touch up again. I'm not going to pick and choose as both sides are fairly similar. So the translucent or the number five light lavender loosing powder are kind of, you know, the finish, the lasting, the performers are pretty much identical. So I just pick as I go. Let's open. This is the 05, which is the light purple one. I'm going to use it on this side. Okay. Let me tilt. Oh, okay. Here. See? and also as we have the evening lighting can you guys see the shine over here just cross my eyebrow and that's see gone Look at this side again. I got very close now. Otherwise, I will actually bump my face to the cam to the camera. Can you see how smooth this side look like? Oh wow! I have to say, you know, when I testing out this too, um, mainly I wear it during the day, and I can see this time in the evening time under the lighting made the finish look even better. Okay, this side I'm going to use the translucent powder. Okay, let me tilt again. Okay, see here? In there? The blurring effect is so good. That's it. It removes all the shining part from the face and turn the face into like very fresh, clean finish. For the finishing, blurring, pore minimizing, I think three of them, the two uh, loosing powder and the pressed baked powder, uh, they are identical, we would say absolutely identical. But compared with their classic version, I think the newer version is the, the, the details made it much, much better. So if you are debating, uh, especially especially if you are normal to oily skin, if you fall into this zone, then go for the, the white jade color frosted cover. This new version is really good. I have to say, I have to say today the long lasting is better than the baked one. Could be just today. By the way, there is no smell whatsoever in this powder. Well, in whole Floris's brand, you rarely smell something strong. Um, they will either have no smell or just very subtle the flora smell. So if you are scent sensitive, Floris's is another good choice. Don't forget this collection also very very friendly for sensitive skin but to still check out all the ingredients myself isn't sensitive skin so uh, I can't technically test out on that perspective so do still read out the ingredients but so far I even use all three of them on my bare skins it doesn't cause any irritations it doesn't block my pores considering I just clean procedure remain the same and it doesn't cause any additional acne reactions or basically is pretty much maintain my skin condition it doesn't add any troubles on top of that so 
Hope you find today's video somehow helpful. If you do, do click the like button and most importantly, to subscribe to my channel. I will see you on my next video.